<coughs> I think that we're online now. I think that we're online now. So, hello guys. This is Lucas Palmeira from Imaginando, and we're here for another live stream. Today, I'm going to show you how to make oh, the new bank called Sounds from Bassoon. Sorry, I'm just going to take the sound out of this. Okay, so this bank was made uh, from a recording that I made with uh, a friend of mine that is a bassoon player on an orchestra. And after the clarinet, uh, I already knew that I could record with him. So I thought, okay, let's keep uh, for now on the woods. And since the bassoon is not a very common instrument, I thought that, okay, it would be cool to have something with a really low register. And I decided to record the bassoon and make some patches out of it. Uh, you can see that on this bank, and I'm going to show you really fast for now, on this bank, on the sounds of the bassoon, you have loads of notes, so you have all the register of the bassoon uh, recorded on long notes, so you can use it to create your own sampler if you want to. That was the idea, and some of the notes have even more than one uh, recording, so you can use them to uh, make it sound different, even though it's playing the same note. And then we have about... 51 phrases of bassoon. There are many different phases, like... For example... These recordings were made with uh, close mic and electro voice RE320 and a pair of octa octavas doing the stereo part and capturing a little bit of the room so it gives it a little bit more richness to the recordings but I tried to keep them as dry as I could so you can add effects later. Um, so let's start and listen to the to the sounds. So the first patch that we have, it's called uh, a burst of spring, and it goes like this. Some of these sounds, I, I left them uh, uh, polyphonic on purpose, but you will notice that some sounds, since they're really phrase-based, they work really nice if you change them to mono and turn legato on, and then you can just use another approach to, to play them. Let's go to the next one. The next one is called a hopping journey. 
Remember to try the um, the modulation wheel. It has some nice modulations there in effects. Next one is called A New Age. Nice drone there. Let's go to the next patch. It's called A New Quest. Very hypnotic indeed. Let's go to the new one. It's called Abandoned Factory. Some of them are really like this one, very sound designy. That's a word. Kind of a drone.
Yes, Varela. That's actually that clicking sound is the recording of the the bassoon keys. They are quite loud if you record them, but they also make uh, kind of a nice clicking sound, which I used here more than anything. You also have uh, one of the phrases the, 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 that I recorded is basically this clicking sound, so you can use them on your own uh, sounds. The prize of the wheel is the bank as it should be. So let's go to the next one. It's called Aiming High. As you can see, just using the modulation wheel, you can get this nice, um, this nice sweeping of pitches. I thought that it was, I think it's kind of fun when you have this, this game of different harmonies, because since you have four layers, you can make some of the layers pitch up or pitch down and leave the other ones um, on the same note, so you can create this kind of uh, movement, harmonic movement between notes, and suddenly, since you have phrases and you have different notes on these um, patches, if you move just some of them, you can create new harmonies, and that's kind of what's happening here. Let's go to the next one. It's called Alien Flora.
That sounds sweet. Again, I'm going up, turning, bringing down mod wheel. And up again. Okay. This was Alin Flora. Let's go to the next one. This one is Alien Moan. Kinda creepy, huh? Yeah, time to hydrate, Varela. Here's my, he's mine. Hope you guys having a nice Tuesday. It's quite sunny and hot in here. Not inside Imaginando, but right outside. Here we're nice and fresh. Thank God. Actually, thanks to Nuno. So this is really weird and good for sound design and creepy stuff. So let's go for the next one. It's called Arabic Dusk.
Really nice to read those things, guys. Really nice. Let's go to the next one. And it's called Coming of Age. This is a nice, uh, I really like this kind of uh, pitch uh, rising sounds. So guys, it's time for the first giveaway. So I'm going to spin the wheel and go for the first uh, giveaway, which should be right here. And... I don't know why we have Imaginando on the wheel, though. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to spin the wheel, guys, so you can see it. So let's go for the first giveaway. It's spinning. And the winner is Hans Hansen has won the first giveaway. Congratulations, Hans. We're going to spin it two more times now. And the second winner is Brian Sketters. I hope I'm not butchering your name. Congrats, Brian. You just won a pack. And now for the last spin for now. So I'm gonna turn it. And Jay won it. Congrats, Jay. I really hope you guys enjoy the pack and make good use of it. We'll be spinning back the wheel in a while. So don't worry, those that haven't gotten something yet, you might still be getting it, so don't worry. So let's go back to our patches. We were at this nice rising patch. Okay, next patch is Confused Thoughts.
Next one is called creepy thoughts. So we got someone confused and someone creepy. <laughs> Let's hear how it sounds. Yeah, it's creep creepy, all right. Good from uh, for some terror. I was losing myself nice in this one. Creepy thoughts. So let's go to the next one. Cries from the deep. One of the great things I really love about frames is that um, when I'm building this, these patches and these banks, I, the results are always bigger than what I expect. I, sometimes it's also, since the, uh, there is complexity involved in it, 
sometimes have to tweak some things to kind of tame the the phrases and the melodic chaos that sometimes arises but there are so many fortunate um, accidents that happen that I don't predict at all and um, suddenly you get something really different and really strange and that's kind of what happens in this patch. I was going for something kind of more s definitely sound design and not very melodic but suddenly there are some times where it becomes more harmonic than others and it's nice Go to the next one. It's called Damask Rose. For those who don't know it, the Damask Rose is the desert rose. Next patch, it's called Dark Lands Incursion. This could be, this patch could be the soundtrack for the worms on Dune. Don't know if you've seen the movie can be either David Lynch's or the new one. Kind of love them both, really.
like this. Next one, it's called Deep Wood. <laughs> I hear you, Tema. No, the next pet, the next, uh, the next bank won't be a wood for sure. We got sounds of saxophone which is actually a wood, although it's made of metal. We got sounds of guitar, sounds of clarinet, and sounds of bassoon. So for now, I'm not going to go for woods. I'm going to make, uh, I, I want to make a bank of, um, of, uh, of the orchestral flute for sure, but it's not going to be now. And um, Especially because uh, for the flute, I have this friend of mine who's a specialist. He's actually um, a professional piano player, but he's been fasc fascinated all his life with flutes. So he has a collection of Japanese flutes and Arab flutes and real flutes. So probably when I make that bank, I'm not going to make only about the normal flute, but I'm going to put all those ones as well for sure but since we have three woods already in banks i'm gonna go probably to either i don't know probably violin or um, uh, cello that's what i was probably pointing to uh next bank but please give us uh some ideas of what you of what instruments you would like to have some banks we are listening to you guys. Yes, yes, Teme. Yeah. Yeah. There are the, the Japanese flute. He has some really big Japanese flutes that sound awesome. They're just bamboo made the flutes and they're really, really beautiful. So this is deep wood. It's kind of a straightforward patch. We need some of these as well. Okay, yes, 20 minutes fly by, and I guess I s it's time for another wheel spin. I'll have that ready in a second. So this deep wood also has this modulation. Remember guys, to enter the giveaway, you just have to be active on the live chat and we will add your name to the wheel. The next patch is called Desert Breath.
Yeah, it's kind of a pad. Let's go to the next one. Discovery. Before I go to the, this one, let's pin the wheel again, guys. Here I have another wheel for, for, to spin with the names of the candidates. So guys, good luck. I'm gonna spin it again. Let's go. Uh, I wish I knew how to pronounce your name, man, but I really don't. But congrats, Cosmic. I really don't know how to say it, man. And I, I sorry if I'm butchering your name, I prefer not to. But congrats on... Um, on being the winner of the giveaway. I'm gonna spin it two more times, guys. Here it goes again. Congrats, Tema. You just won the bank as well. You're the second winner of this second row of giveaways. And lastly, for now, just for now, guys, I'm going to spin it again. And congrats to Eduardo Brito. Hope you guys have fun and enjoy the bank. I'm now going back to the patches and we'll be back in a while. Okay, so we were on discovery. And the one thing I always like on working with frames is how you can get those nice growls of FM with modulation and leaving them just growling on the background sounds really cool. Yeah, with the re it's true, Christina. With the the reverb and the um, the delay that you have on frames, you can really 
uh, create a kind of um, a planes where you can have some sounds really close front and really dry and then try to put some of them further away and you have this kind of um, 3D effect of the patch where you have things on your on the front really clean and really popping up and some just giving this wide feeling on the background with loads of effects and it's kind of cool when you dial them in just right to make that effect so let's go to the next one it's called distant clouds go to the next one I probably let me see I probably have to move a little bit faster let me just see yes cuz we're getting to halfway distance on the stream and I'm not halfway distance on the patches which is kind of nice actually but let's keep going and it's next one is called falling to madness so let's hear it Kind of creepy, all right. Chris, don't worry. You just have to say something on the live chat so we know that you're active and we'll put your name on the wheel. Don't worry. Good patch for The Shining, probably. <laughs> Let's go to the next one. This one is called Far Lens. Curious, this might sound nice as well. Nah. nah. Let's go to the next one. It's called Flight Instructor.
some of these sounds, you just want to lose yourself in them. sound. Next one is called flight, flight Plan. Next one, floating lights. Next one is called flocking.
Okay, next patch is called Freshly Cut Grass. What kind of grass? <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> I was saying it and I got it while I was reading it. <laughs> yeah, this delay is nice. Let's go to the next one. <clears throat> it's called Friendly Conversation. Yeah, some of these patches sound like a whole song already. I think it's time to spin the wheel again, guys. Let's go for another spin. And here we have it. So, good luck to the participants. And let's spin it the first time. Let's go. Congrats, Sebastian. You just won a pack. So let's spin it two more times. Brian is the winner this time. And now for the last time for now. We are still going to spin the wheel after this. Uh, or we're going to have uh, two more uh, wheel moments until the end of the, um, of the stream. So don't worry if you didn't get it right now. You might still have the opportunity to do it. So I'm going to spin it the last time for now. Chris. Chris. Congrats. You have just won a key for the bank. So let's now continue with the patches, sorry. Friendly conversation, that's where we were.
Next patch is called Giant Bug. for Arabic sounds. Next one, the giant bug's mother. <laughs> so we had the giant bug and now we have the giant bug's mother, which should be a little bit bigger, probably. Yeah, it sounds a little bit angrier too. It's true. <laughs> Coffee names. Ah, uh, that's funny. Let's go to the the next one, it's called Give Me That PZ. And you're gonna understand why. It sounds like pizzicato from uh, a string session, actually. Simple sound. Bug mother, great <laughs> project name, that's funny. Uh, simple sound, but uh, we need some simple sounds as well. Not all sounds can be as dense and complex as the one that we were hearing until now. And this is quite useful. Next one, it's called Good Companions. Thank you. 
go to the next one. Heckle rain. And talking again about the keys, I think uh, the name of this is called heckle rain because the system of the keys that uh, are used to play the, um, the, um, the bassoon, uh, the guy that invented them was called Heckle. So this is just the keys. Yeah, it's raining to you guys. If you want to just hear, I'm going to just show you how the sample sounds with, with just um, one grain. Sorry. So it's phase for a uh, bassoon phase forty four. It's basically just this. Okay, let's go to the next one. It's called Hidden Tribe. I've just been given some new nourishment. Thanks to the guys here, especially Varela. Let's go, guys. If this was on Dune, it was probably for the Harkonnens, for sure. This was Hidden Tribe. So let's go to the next one, which is called Inside the Nest. Mm -hmm. 
Weird one, huh? That's good to hear, Eduardo. I hope you have fun with it, man. like shatter and nervous as well next patch is called intelligent squids probably space squids show us what uh, show us what you've been doing with it eduardo we always love that guys if you've been doing um, publishing music, doing some videos, or using any of our products to anything, if you'd like to share it, uh, to share it with us, please do. We love to, to hear what you guys are doing. It always inspires us like nothing else. And we might just publish it and give you guys a shout out as well. Anything we can help as well, we will do it. So please do share. We love that. Uh, I think we're good now. Oh, I'm gonna have to pick up the pace for sure. Because we have, still have great things to listen to. And it's probably getting time to for another Spin the Wheels, guys. So, shout out to, to the things. Remember? Next one, keep trying. I kind of like this. Next one, living at dawn.
There is some mist for sure. Next one. Lingering notes. That seems like a nice workflow. If it works for you, Eduardo, that's what matters, man. Nice, Rasvan. Go to the next one. It's called Lone Ruins. But before that, it's time to spin the wheel. So let's go to, I think it's, yeah, let's go. So good luck, guys. I wish you all the best. And let's spin it. Nutbox is the winner of the first spin the wheel. Congratulations. Let's spin it again. PDK, congrats. You're the winner this time. And now for the last spin for now. Degree of Freedom, congratulations, guys. Congratulations to you all. Hope you have fun with the banks. Let's continue our journey into the lone ruins. Next one, it's called Love Lost. We all unfortunately been there, but. It only hurts when it's good, right? Next one, it is called Memory Loss.
as you can notice, some sounds are so dense in terms of harmonic um, phrasing that if you try to play some notes that will have a relationship, the problem is not the notes itself, it's that when you do some intervals, it might fall out of the scale and it might sound a bit dissonant. You might get some nice accidents, but some sounds are clearly not as easy to play more than one note or more than unison than um, some others. So let's go to the next one. It's called Opening Up. Yeah, this is nice. That's the thing, uh, degree of freedom. Uh, you might find it difficult to fit in a, a song, probably because <clears throat> what I feel about these sounds a lot is that uh, sometimes you're playing something and it, uh, the inspiration fills right in. And it's like, I normally with this kind of complex sounds, what I tend to do is get inspiration from them and <clears throat> kind of go from there or I'm kind of looking out for a certain kind of feeling or texture and I think that, okay, that kind of small chaos might fit on the composition and I want that kind of organic feeling that the um, granular synthesis and the sampling can do uh, and that normal subtractive synthesis won't. Another thing is, and it's normally what works best sometimes, is that, okay, you get the idea from the patch, you're doing the song and you have this patch, okay, I like this and I don't like that. And you just take out from one of these patches, for example, a layer that it's clashing with your song or a note and you make the size smaller or you just use that little bit of the, of the sample which is moving on the matrix and oh no, I just wanted to stay here and you adapt these patches to fit right on your compositions and on what you're doing. I think, um, I think that's the, probably the best approach to be effective with frames since it's so, it's so big and so dense sometimes that sometimes you feel that it might be too dense for, for, for to, make, to fit on a song that it's already full. So I understand what you say. Let's go to the next one. Organic organ.
Okay. Next one. It's called Ready to March. And it's just this. one next one it's called rising tension and it was already rising <laughs> let's go yeah this is a nice one Yeah, I learned. I learned my Bach. It's actually probably the the um, composer that I studied more in my life. I really love Bach, especially his Mass and Passion are my favorite. One of my favorite compositions of all time, for sure. Let's go to the next one, guys. This one is called the Rodent Slayer. It's actually only Rodent Slayer. Lair. It's a big one. It's not a small rodent. <laughs> yes, guys, I can show you that right now. You can now... I'm actually using a 4K monitor right now. And you can just go here to the settings. And I'm using, I'm using the monitor on 150 scale already, the windows. But as you can see, you can now change the size of frames. I cannot go to 200 because I'm not on real 4K. I'm on 4K monitor, but I'm using it at 150%. And I'm using it at 150% here because this is probably closer to something like uh, 1440p right now than true 4K. But yes, yes. <coughs> <laughs> Scraping tones. Yeah, it sounds a little bit like Chewbacca. <laughs> that was funny. Next one, server malfunction. Yeah, 
Okay, we still got some. Solar storm. Okay, yeah, it's time for a wheel spin and for Space Council. Next one is called Spider Swarm, and it's another one of those creepy ones. I think this is kind of the creepiest. I don't know why, I find it probably one of the creepiest sounds we got here. It's because of that small clicking behind. I don't know. Next one is called Step Up.
This one is called The Arrival. Ooh, I like this one. This is asking for a big chord. Like, let me see. It's a Portuguese lager, Mike. Could be. This could be a great entrance for a, a song, a movie, something like that, for sure. Yeah, yeah, it sounds like the intro for THX, for sure. <laughs> that was funny, Brian. Let's get to the next one. It's called The Diplomat. Before that, let's do another spin, guys. And here you, you are. Good luck to everyone. I hope you win it, whoever it may fall to. First spin, and it's going to Greg Bear. Congratulations, Greg. You just won a key for the pack. I'm going to spin it again. Mike just won the next one, and now the last spin. Razvan, congratulations, Razvan. Congratulations, guys, hope you have fun with the bank. Really hope you have fun with the bank. And remember to show us your creative stuff. We love to hear that. We were on the diplomat. Next one. This one is called The Flutes Told Me.
I like this one. Cheers, guys. Yes, for sure. Celebratory beer. Cheers, everyone. one the next one is called the overture because it is an opening for a famous piece you can tell the musician that was that I recorded was a classical musician that played for an orchestra Next one, the revenge of the space orcas. You guys is ready for some space orcas? Let's get to another one before they get to us. And the next one is called The Space Between. Next one is called The Tragedy. This is the same piece as before as the Overture patch, but this one will have the whole first phrase on it.
always try to give you something to play with on the modulation wheel. So always remember to try those out. Now to the moon. <laughs> I like that joke, Eduardo. <clears throat> that's for who? That's for people who know. This is a great pad. I've watched Blade Runner, I don't know how many times. There is always a good excuse to watch it again, especially the first one, for sure. Thanks, Nate, that means a lot. Thanks, 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 man. That means a lot. Let's go to the next one, and it's called Town Market. Remember, if you watch Blade Runner, watch the director's cut. No nonsense. I, I, I really enjoy the Harrison Ford voice, but it's not meant to be like that. Enjoy the soundtrack. Enjoy thinking about what's happening, and you don't need the f weird um, narrator voice explaining everything that it's almost obvious in the movie, like. It's my opinion, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Uh, 
<laughs> Next patch. <laughs> Next patch. It's called Tracing Signal. I hope you're not saying I'm wrong about the Blade Runner thing, because about that I'm sure I'm right. Yeah, see, Les Fuller knows what I'm talking about. In case uh, people didn't know, uh, the director's cut is the version that was supposed to be launched, but the producers thought people weren't smart enough to understand the movie. So they made the, the narrator voice to explain what's going, what's happening. That's so sad and Amer oh, better. That's, I think that's, um, a sad part of American entertainment is that they think people are stupid. It's my view of things. Then they, that people need everything to be explained because they can't follow uh, subtle emotions and follow the characters driven motives and things like that. It's just my opinion, guys. Hope I'm not offending anyone for sure. You can make a pull out of that, that would be funny, for sure, for sure, guys. <laughs> it's all in good banter, man. It's all good banter. So, we can go at each other in good banter, for sure. Let's go to the next one. It's called Try from Tatooine. And uh, it's getting time for another spin the wheel. So, guys, shout out on chat. Yeah, this is Tribes from Tatooine. When I made this one, it reminded me of, yeah, all those tribes in Tatooine. The Jaffas and all of those. I can't, I can't vote here, so it's gonna be just up to you guys. So let's see, you already know my opinion, so let's see what people think. <laughs> No, there's going to be one more spin, guys. So shout out. Tell your name so we can spin it again. Clive is collecting all your names. And I'm going to the next patch. It's called Troubled Meditation. I'm with you, well. I'm with you.
Let's go to the next one. It's called Underground Generator, and we're reaching the end. Yeah, we got one, two, three, four, five uh, patches to go. This is called Underground Generator. And yeah, it's true. I don't think I have... Yeah, I just have a little sign on this sound and everything is... I'm gonna take the, the oscillator here. And this is just a bassoon playing. It's really weird. I got some nice sounds out of this. Thanks, guys. Thanks, thanks. <coughs> I just hope you're having as much fun as I am. Next one is called Unexpected Visitor. It's a creepy one. Might actually be a Gigaralian coming through the window. Let's go guys, time for another wheel spin up. And last but not least, here are the names. Guys, I wish you all the best of luck. And I'm going to spin it again. Let's go. Les Fuller, congratulations man, you got a key. Let's do it again. Stepan, you just won a key. And last spin. Hope you guys win it. Elham, you won it, man. So congrats to all the winners. Congratulations, hope you have fun and do nice things with the keys, guys.
Next one is called Unfamiliar Machine. Next one, it's called Wooden Spaceship. Yes, this is a concept. I don't know if you ever um, watched, um, there is this uh, mangaka, a guy that draws manga in Japan, which is really famous that has a uh, scientific, it, 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 he's one of a kind in sci-fi uh, manga and is really famous. I'm trying to remember his name. Ah, he's the one responsible for Captain Harlock. And the ships, the spaceships look like uh, real ships and it's really, it's funny the concept because they look like ship generals inside the ships and it's, uh, but they're ships on space and it's really nice and I like the concept. As well as all those um, steampunk concepts of wooden ships on the sky as well. So uh, I called it wooden spaceship kind of thinking about that. It's a special kind of alien wood, Clive. You never heard of those? Ghost in the Shell, man. It's also a good shout. And we're approaching the end of our stream. A little after the... We're a little after the, the time scheduled, actually, but it has been fun, guys. It has been really fun to be with you guys.
Oops. I think this PC is getting a little bit crowded here with all I'm doing at the same time. And we got through all the patches. I hope you enjoy this bank. It was really fun to make. And... Hmm? Let's see if I can, I can still remember. <laughs> And that's what I'm doing it. We'll stay it there. It was really fun doing this uh, stream, guys. Let's see if uh, next month we might have another one. We don't know still. Depends on uh, what we're able to give to you guys. But be ready to keep checking our tutorials. We're, we're going to be sending you at least, at least, one tutorial a week, one for frames and one for DRC. We might change that in the future to give you more content. Uh, we're definitely working on it. But this has been really, really fun, guys. And uh, definitely the time just flies. I was thinking that it was 70 patches that we got here. And I was thinking probably it's, I'm going to have to make time, but it was completely the other way around. So thank you for all your comments. Thank you for all your participation. Thank you for everything. Thank you for supporting our company and being here. We love you all, guys. I'm going to say goodbye now and give you a big shout to you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.